We're ready for the main event. We've had some uh, stunners leading up here on Fox and getting to the best part now. David Morrell, only 22 years old, 3-0 as a professional, but a decorated amateur, 135 amateur wins, 2016 World Youth Champion, Cuban National Champion, the total package going up against Mike Gravonsky, who is 26-3-1. He is 34 years of age. And Heidi Andrel has more on Gravonsky right now. Heidi. Thank you very much, Brian. Well, we talked a lot about his boxing experience earlier in the show, but he told us he actually has a lot of hobbies. He's a man of the performing arts. He and his girlfriend, Ashley, during the quarantine actually did a lot of karaoke. They got a karaoke machine. Machine. They do a lot of ballroom dancing. In fact, he even has the leading role in Midsummer Night's Dream, a little Shakespeare at the local Valley Center Theater back home, and hopes to return to that role when things open up. But tonight, rest assured, his focus is on stealing the show in the main event. Brian? All right, tall order. Heidi, thank you so much. Tale of the tape, David Morell, Mike Gravonsky. Morell is 22 years of age. Gravonsky is 34, both about the same height. Morell coming in at 170 pounds. They'd said that that was uh, agreed upon ahead of time, but they don't come in at 168. Uh, big reach advantage for Morell, and again, enormous experience advantage for Morell as an amateur, former world champion coming out of Cuba. David Morell, Mike Gravonsky. That is the main event here on Fox. Let's Let's go to the ring in Los Angeles and Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen from the Shrine Auditorium Expo Hall here in downtown Los Angeles, Premier Boxing Champions presents the featured bout of the evening brought to you by TGB Promotions in association with Warriors Boxing and Hits Boxing Incorporated as sponsored by GEICO. Introducing our three judges scoring from ringside, Dr. Lou Moret, Alejandro Rochin, and Fernando Villarreal. All right, fans, here we go. Ten rounds of boxing scheduled in a super middleweight special attraction. And now, ladies and gentlemen, boxing fans joining us around the world, live from Los Angeles, it's time for the main event of the evening. Introducing to you first on my left, fighting out of the red corner, wearing blue, gold, and white trunks, fighting out of Chicago, Illinois, by way of Tacoma, Washington. He weighed in at a ready 167 and one half pounds. His record stands at 26 wins, three losses, and one draw, with 16 wins coming by way of knockout. Introducing Mike, imagine me, Gavronsky. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner in this 10-round attraction, wearing black trucks trimmed in the colors of the U.S. and Cuban flags. Fighting out of Minneapolis, Minnesota, by way of Santa Clara, Cuba, he weighed in at an even 170 pounds. Undefeated in his young campaign in the professional ranks with a record of three wins, no losses. Two of his wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the former sensational amateur standout and the current interim WBA super middleweight world champion. Introducing the undefeated David Morell Jr. And a referee in charge Mike, now right here, gave instructions, facing facing Jack facing Reese. Right, here, right, here. right there. David, right here? Yep. Okay. Coach, these trunks are high. I'm going to let them work in here. It's going to slide back up. Everything in here is going to be okay. These are all right. Mouthpiece. 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 I give you both instructions. I just want to remind you, please listen and follow my request at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Fight hard, fight clean. Good luck to both of you. All right. Jack Reese, an experienced referee, third yep. man in the ring tonight. And tonight's odds provided by Fox Bet. If you place $100 on Morell, you would win two bucks. Uh, Morell's such a big favorite, you would need to risk $5,000 to win $100. Uh, conversely, 100 bucks on Gavronsky, you could win $1,200. Uh, so, yeah, David Morell is a huge favorite against Mike Gravonsky here tonight. But I know, Sean Porter, you're thinking Gravonsky could give him a test here, right? Hey, I said it already. I think he's going to definitely test him. He's going to take him some rounds for sure. And uh, I think he's going to present some things to him. He has a scene. He has a professional. Hey, hey. 
Good combination there early by Morrell, and he's already able to land on Gravonsky early. Go ahead, Joe. No, I was going to say, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that I, I think the odds are in line with what's probably going to happen in this fight. Mm -hmm. Although, I don't disagree with Sean. Gravonsky, uh, Gravonsky is a very, very solid guy, and he, he's he's rough, and he's, he's capable, so... But I just think that his defense is too loose. Yeah. Sorry, to cut you shots off the already. Wow. I, I just yeah, no, gotta say it. <laughs> Morell is already landing, you know, at, at will. And Joe, either you're agreeing with Sean or you're not. You're no, not agreeing no, with Sean. No, no, just say it. Don't just say it. Here, I'm, here's the thing. I'm gonna give both men their credit, okay? And and Gavronsky is a tough guy. He's solid. He will give you a test. But I just said, Morell. I think the numbers are in line with yeah. what Morell's gonna do to this guy tonight. Yeah. You gotta open up your ears, and, Brian. And, yeah, you gotta. Okay. No, you said you, you you said you agree with Sean, but right after saying that, uh, right, he right, doesn't right. have a shot. I, well, we I mean, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, say it. You said it before that. Oh, you know, after what I saw with Canelo, I would have oh, Caleb go Plant number one in the now, division, okay. and then you didn't say that. Well, let's say this. Saying, let's say, say this. Place. We're, we're, Grabkowski, he's doing the right things in terms of trying to rough up Morel. The thing is, his his defense is very loose. He's getting hit with just about everything that Morel. Throws. All right. Well, let me make it clear. That's for, a problem. Let me make it clear. Yeah, please, Brian. please, Joe. Okay. I'd appreciate Brian, that. Brian, Morel is the class in this fight yeah. right here. Okay, yeah. that's number one. He's already he's already hurt uh, Gavronsky, and he's going to do it again. Uh, as far as Caleb Plant and Canelo, <laughs> There's another let me one, just yeah. tell you something right now. I think Caleb Plant would have done a hell of a lot better than Callum Smith did, uh, and he would have been a lot more competitive, not won that fight if he was in that position. I think but that you wouldn't, fa but you wouldn't favor him. Hold on. To, 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 to no, no, don't say short. I would, fa I would favor Caleb Plant. Plant. Oh, yes. O over Canelo right now. Yes, yes. I okay, so you said it. I know you're no, in love no, with I... Canelo, but I'm going to tell you right now, <laughs> Big, I can't oh, help look, it if you're in love with him. Oh. Look at these shots here by Morell. Yeah. I will get back into this. Gavronsky's in trouble already, getting traded. Well, I mean, uppercuts like, and hooks like, immediately. Like, looks like I'm right again on this fight. Whoa, nobody saw the shoulder right there. Okay, Nobody showed his, saw the shoulder move by Morel right there, but Gav Gavronsky tried to hold him, and, and Morel got him the shoulder. Well, uppercuts and Gavronsky, you wonder how much he's uh, going to be able to take yeah, uh, out of all this. I mean, just uh, early on, Morel getting right after him. And Morel, by the way, again, this is his fourth professional fight. First two fights, he had two quick knockouts. Last time he went 12 rounds against Lennox Alley. Oh, yeah. One of the shots, and yeah. down goes Gavronsky. Yeah. Gavronsky has eaten big shots full Four, through this round. Ten five, seconds left. Six. Seven, eight, nine. Are you okay? You want to continue? Walk to me. Give me your gloves. Ring the bell. Yeah, Jack Reese corner. saying that, that'll be the end of the round. And that is about the only way that Gavronsky could be saved. Tonight's corner cam is sponsored by Liberty Mutual Insurance. Only pay for what you need. Let's go in. Right eye. class and Gavronsky here and it's just it's no match right now Morell is a great fighter he's experienced beyond his means and those are beautiful combinations here's a knockdown right uppercut he's gonna clip him with a little shot to the temple he's gonna no, come that, back with another hook that's not the back knockdown. to the uppercut look textbook combination right here yeah. one two three boom oh. and you know what Gravonsky's not going to make it out of this round. I don't think yeah, so. Yeah, look, this is, a, this is a mismatch already, but round number one, and you can see Jack Reese was waiting for something uh, demonstrative from the corner. He, he's ready to end it. Let's see if Mike Gravonsky can, can stay on his feet here in this second round. Combinations from Morrell right away as he looks to end this. All headshots, uppercuts, and hooks. Fast, clean, Cuban boxing ability right there. Exactly. And Gavronsky is going to have to fire back eventually, or Jack Reese will step in and stop this, too. Body shot, uppercut with the same hand, and then uh, about a five-punch combination from David Morrell. And you got to remember, Brian, Morrell took this fight on three weeks' notice. So, you know, it's uh, very, you know, he's not in the type of shape he would have normally been in, and it could have been worse stop, for Gavronsky, to tell you the okay. truth. 
Well, well, Mike, he is very calm. Me. And look, and speaking of Canelo, we asked Morrell, hey, how long, if you're at 168, before you want to fight the top guy in the division? He said, hey, if my team says I'm ready, I'm ready. A soon, no, but in the future, yes. Yeah. So Morrell has that type of talent and that type of pedigree. He does, and that's a reasonable answer. Um, so, you know, I agree with that completely. This kid is going to go all the way and then some. Can I break? Give him the break. I mean, this is yeah. his fourth fight. Yeah, Gavronsky getting uh, just banged around from pillar to post. I mean, just getting moved around the ring halfway through round number two. You know, Gavronsky had said that, hey, we put a plan together. He wouldn't let us know what that was, and uh, I just think he's hoping for the best here. But he just does not have the defense yeah. to stay in front of David Morrell. Yeah, we saw that from the opening bell that his defense was just too loose. And even now with his hands up, it's just not enough. To, to block every single punch that Morrell throws. I mean, great combinations from Morrell. He's, he's bound to find an opening. Gavronsky able to now uh, summon some offense here. Morrell, again, in his last fight, said he learned a lot by going the distance to take his time, but he doesn't see any reason to take his time here now against a, a wounded Mike Gravonsky. Unfortunately, there is no reason for him to take his time. I think um, Grav Gavronsky is going to breathe as long as, as Morrell allows him to. Dr. Hicks will bring in you up, Doc. I think Jack Reese, what was he saying there, Joe, did you hear? Is he asking to, for a good look in between rounds? Is I that didn't, what you're saying? I didn't. I was actually uh, concentrated on Morrell and wondering why well, uh, now he's doing it. He's picking it up, but he slowed down there for a minute. When you got a guy on the run like that, yeah. you know, keep get, going. Before you get a cut or, keep you know, going. headbutt, yeah. something weird can happen. Yeah. Get that guy out of there if you got him on the run. Well, well Final Jack 15 said seconds. he wants yeah. to. Go ahead, Sean. He, yeah, he said he wants the doctor to come up after this round. Yeah, I, I thought that's what I heard, and this fight might end in between these rounds. So that's round number two, final seconds. Mike Ravonsky still on his feet. We'll see if this continues. Oh, wow. Jack Reese was asking, and, and he actually said, I don't know if you heard it there at the very end, he said, you know, you guys know better than me. So it hasn't reached the level of Jack Reese stopping it, but Jack was wondering if the corner should stop this, Joe. But look, and it's not its not a bad question to ask. I'm surprised Gravonsky made it out of that round, to tell you the truth. It's not going to get any better for him in the next round or so. So, I mean, I think it's a legitimate, legitimate question to ask the corner, hey, what do you, because they, they know exactly what the fighter's got, how hard he trained, and what he's got in the tank. So they'd be the best well, judge of it. Well, we've seen, too, in, in the last couple of weeks, sometimes a, a corner is very brave. And, uh, it, you know, we saw earlier tonight Eddie Hernandez Sr. go into a corner and say, fellas, I'm concerned. That was with Paul Carroll against Chavez Barrientos on FS1. And then the corner said, yeah, I think you're right. So I, I think that the referee can lead the way. Jack Reese isn't quite at that point yet. But he wondered if, if the corner of Gavronsky had said, you know, maybe it's not smart to go back out there. Yeah. Well, He's look, wondering. I mean, you did say this is a, a mismatch. I mean, in, in all appearances now, on paper it wasn't, but now as it turns out, it, it is a mismatch. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, it's not beyond reason to ask if this fight should be stopped, if this kid's going to take more punishment that is really unnecessary. So we'll see. Maybe he'll get back in the fight somehow. Doesn't look like it, but... My dad put forth an effort. Yeah, go ahead, Sean. Yeah, my dad. My dad would say, give him a reason. Give the referee yeah. reason to step in. That's if, right. if I was in the blue corner, I would be. I would have my foot on the gas pedal, and and, and overwhelming this kid, yep. uh, Gavronsky, with a, with a lot of punches, a lot of power as well. To, just to give the ref a, a, a reason. You're three rounds in. Get out. It's 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 about that time. No need to stay we, in there any longer. And we've had early knockouts here tonight. We had a knockout in the third, fourth, and first round. James Kirkland knocked out in the first round. But in one of those fights, it was the opponent who did the knocking out, Trayvon Lawson, upsetting Angel Barrientos. Look at Morrell going to work. Jack Reese gets closer as Gavronsky looks like he's about to fall over. Yeah. No Morrell way. moves in again, and he could finish this off. There's a lot of time left in this round. It's even tough for refs because they don't want to be a part of the fight. And, and, and a lot of fighters, a lot of times, put them in awkward positions because they're getting hit, heads flying up, down, hard everywhere. Hard left hand, yeah, hard left hand again, Sean. Sorry to jump in. No, this no, this no, fight no. could end any, any second now. Jack Reese is getting closer, and he's seeing the head snap back. Gravonsky now, perhaps, with his last gasp. Lands a right hand. And I appreciate Jack as a ref. I think he always does yeah. right by the fighter, by the corner, and by the fight itself. 
And I, I can't see him allowing this to last much longer, especially if his head keeps popping back like that. Stop, stop. But he will give you a chance a chance to redeem yourself if, if he thinks it's at all possible. Yeah. When he sees it to the end of the line, he will stop it. I, I think Jack's a, a, a veteran ref who really knows his way around the ring. So he'll protect you if, if you need it. And even speaking to Morrell, this is a step up from his last opponent. Uh, uh, and, and, and I think... Stop. Stop. He's done the right thing Stop. at this Stop. point, Stop. you know, to, to... Well, to your point, yeah, Sean, I mean, know. again, he, he he debuted in a scheduled six-rounder. Second bout scheduled for eight. Yeah. Third was a full 12. Yeah. This one's scheduled for 10 because he didn't make the weight. It was yeah. agreed upon 170. Oh. But, look, I mean, look at the punishment. He's, he's very early in his career, even though when you look at him, I mean, you would think, no, this is a polished pro, mm -hmm. obviously. But but he's not. So I, I can't blame him taking a fight stop, like this. Stop, but this stop, is easy that's pickings. That's it. That's it. That's Jack it. resends it. That's it. And that was a good time to end it. Strafing uppercut. And Gravonsky's head snapped back one more time. I got it. You got him? And Joe and Sean, I think he just saw, all right, that was a bad shot. Now it's time for me to act. And, and I got to tell you, uh, again, you know, Gravonsky took this fight seriously. Uh, Morrell took this fight on three weeks' notice. I mean, imagine if he had a six, seven, eight week camp, how bad it would have been for uh, Gravonsky. So I, I got to tip my hat to, to uh, Morrell right now for taking this fight on short notice and looking that good against the guy that, uh, you know, Sean thought you were, he was going to give him a real good battle, didn't I you? I did, man. I literally, I came in, that was one of the yeah. things I said tonight coming in here. I just thought he was going to put up more fight. Yeah. thought he had better boxing ability and things like that. But you could see right there, I mean, I was trying to come up with a good uh, analogy. And, I mean, the best one I got is, like, it's like a Porsche next to a Nissan. It's like those were just two different speeds yeah. in the ring tonight, you know? Yeah. Nissan, makes a, Nissan makes a great car. <laughs> right. <laughs> I, 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 I have both. Hey, Sean, make, Sean, make sure you say no disrespect intended. And no disrespect. Yeah, I have both. Yeah. I have a Nissan <laughs> and I have a Porsche, you know? So I know the difference. <laughs> well, Morelle, a finely tuned machine. He gets the knockout. Look terrific. And this fight is over. David Morrell there showing sportsmanship, going over to Mike Gravonsky. Uh, Mike Gravonsky giving it his all. He just was not close to the level that David Morrell brought tonight, and he no. moves to 4-0. and oh. Hey, tomorrow, Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs fighting for the top seed in the AFC as they take on the Falcons. Then the Seahawks battle the Rams for control of the NFC West. Check your local listings for games in your area only on Fox and the Fox Sports app. Let's get the official call now and go to Jimmy Lennon, Jr., Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of two minutes, 45 seconds in round number three. A referee in charge, Jack Reese, had seen enough and stops the contest. He is the winner by way of knockout and still undefeated, David Morrell Jr. David Morrell Jr., again, it's kind of funny, he's 4-0. Uh, with three knockouts, but he's 22 years old. He's on an accelerated pace, and you can see he is ready for a higher level of opposition. David Morrell, 4-0, back here in Los Angeles as he gets a win in the main event. It was easy work, but he had to get in there, had to get in shape. And back with okay. uh, Joe Goosen, Sean Porter, I'm Brian Kenny. Fellas, take it away again. It was all Morrell from the early going. Yeah, well, I'll start it off, Sean. I mean, look, this could have been any part of either uh, all the three rounds right here. I mean, yeah. That's pretty much what happened first, second, and third round. I I've gotten a lot of text messages about my analogy, and it's, it's clear that those were just two different levels in the ring tonight. Unfortunately for Gavronsky, popping his head back with uppercuts, straight ja straight lefts, even the jab was very, very effective for Morales. Uh, uh, all, all, all around very good fighter, as we expect from the Cuban kid, and uh, he, he is definitely on his way. you imagine when when, when uh, Morel has 20, 25 yeah, fights, yeah, what he's yeah. going to look like? Yeah. There you go, yeah, yeah. Sean. 49 yeah, Box telling the story. I mean, it's just not close. 102 landed shots for Morel, only 12 for Gavronsky. Again, he did his best within the confines of this night, but he just was not close to the world-class level from the former Cuban amateur star. David Morel gets the win.